Barry in Adelaide, Australia writes to me and he says, is there a difference between using a NAS drive to store DSD downloads or is it better to store and play back these files from a dedicated music server? I'm currently using a NAS because it allows me to conveniently access and play back my music library from multiple music systems in the home. However, if I really wanted to get the best DSD experience, what should I do? And what's the best playback? Okay, a couple of questions baked in there, a good juicy one. I like that, good juicy question. There is fundamentally no difference between a NAS, which stands for Network Attached Storage, and a hard drive built into a server. They are, in essence, the same thing. The files on them are kept in the same way. When they come out, they come out in the same manner because data is kept without timing. So it's just one long data stream. So there's no timing information, there's no jitter. We don't worry about any of that stuff that we would normally worry about in playback when we're retrieving data from a hard drive. Now, that said, if we back up just a little bit, in many homes and systems, NAS are preferred because while the data is identical and the hard drive itself is identical, there is a bit of isolation from having the drive physically disconnected from the server. When you put a hard drive into a server, now you're going to take a central computer, a, a, a single board computer, which is what's built into most servers, and you're going to try and do a couple of things at the same time. You're going to try and retrieve the data off the hard drive and you're going to run a music uh, management program and you're going to run the server program and you're going to run the renderer program all from the same little single board computer and when you do that you're going to get noise. The power supply is going to get a lot noisier when it does all of this than if the single board computer in your server was only doing one thing. So the more it does and the more crap that's going on inside of that server, the more radiated noise, the more power supply noise, the more ground noise that we're going to get inside of that digital system. So in general, even though the data are identical, you're much better off with the NAS than a built-in drive. That said, much depends on how the people designed it. So when we design our server, we will still have those same problems. It'll have an internal hard drive, it'll have all of that stuff going on, so we too will suffer from that. But because we use something called our air gap interface, which is a galvanically isolated device, it's a circuit within this box, that has no electrical or physical connection with anything in the box, that allows us to be kind of like the NAS in reverse. So a NAS is on your network, could be in the other, could be in the bedroom and you're in the living room, right? So you have all this, nothing that's going on in the NAS is gonna have any effect on something going on in the server. In the same way, if you use an air gap interface and galvanically isolate the output of the server, then any noise that's going on here in the server is not going to be reflected out here. In the same way, nothing going on in the server is going to affect the NAS. Does that make sense? So those two things can be overridden, but in general, if you don't have one of our devices, I would recommend the NAS as being the better way to go. Uh, last thing, DSD, I always recommend until Octave comes out, which it's not out yet. And I'll be recommending Octave when it comes out, but it's not out. Go with Audirvana. So Audirvana, A-U-D-I-R-V-A-N-A, -A, is an excellent program. It automatically handles DSD. Life is good. Okay? Thanks for the question. Take it easy.